Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jack Oats to go. You either know or you don't. If you're not already doing it, please subscribe to the Twitter. We're going to talk about Noct and his magic, his demons, Gimadello, his Grimoire, everything. We got to talk about this guy because there's some really cool stuff happening. And I got some off the wall theory per usual. But first, let's roll the intro. What? <laughs> I ain't feeling nothing because I'm numbed out. Bounce. I ain't feeling nothing because I'm numbed out. See how we lose my cool any second if they don't hear us Many people will fear us And when you look in the mirror Don't you compare us to anything they get embarrassed Ha, ha, woo So many people be talking like they want the problems or something I know they stood all of you polish And all of you people get punished It's hard to keep food on your stomach To all of the hustle keep running That's hard to stay humble with nothing We're off of the juggle, we're bugging So let me come down all of a sudden I told you that we keep it buzzing Ha, woo All right, welcome back. So let's get into this. So as you might see from the title, I labeled it not the Zodiac Killer. Um, I don't know if a lot of this fan base is old enough to remember the Zodiac Killer, um, but it was a thing. But there's a reason why I said Zodiac. So this is one of the first things I picked up when we saw Nox's mask demons that he summoned in the captain's meeting. Uh, and at first I was like, oh, rooster, dog, horse. All right. Chinese Zodiac easy, but then I saw the cat and I was like wait. There's no cat in the Chinese Zodiac It's a tiger is Tabata like using a cat instead. There's a transform into a tiger. Maybe uh, I don't know what was going on So I was like, okay, I gotta look up some Zodiac lore looked in the Chinese Zodiac There is a cat uh, to make a whole long lore story short uh, There is a race between these uh, 13 animals um, which are all the Zodiac signs including a cat now the first the very first thing that happens is uh, the the cat and the rat hop on the ox's back to cross the river and the rat ends up pushing off the cat to better its chances at becoming you know placing higher in this race and this is this bore like the story of the rivalry rivalry between a cat a cat and a mouse or not a mouse but a, uh, a rat and why cats hate water uh, which I think is really cool but it didn't make it onto the Zodiac. So I was like, this is really weird. So like they have a lore about a cat being here, but like it just didn't make it on the Zodiac. So why include it in the story? But then I see Vietnamese Zodiac as a separate link at the bottom that includes the keyword cat. And the Vietnamese Zodiac does include the cat. It includes all of those things. So I looked at it and it got really, really interesting. So like I said, we see the masks that are cat, dog, horse, and rooster. And not only do they have those animals in the the Vietnamese zodiac, but they also have elements to go with those things. And I and I, I I'm gonna get way way into this. I, I mean, we're doing like the whole shadow ritual into a basement right now. Okay, so look, the cat is associated with the wood element. The dog is associated with the earth element, the rooster is associated with metal, and the horse with fire. And there's one last element, which is water, which uh, none of those demons are, uh, would have. So, and I say that, and kind of spoiler, um, is that these could be potential abilities that these demons have, which means not could have four different elements to use via these demon contracts that he has with them. And I know we didn't see a whole lot. Um, and I just honestly, at this point, I don't know what to make of what even happened in that captain's meeting. It just looked like, uh, you know, they were kind of using uh, Nox shadow magic and just amping it up uh, to hold down the captains. I, I really don't, I, I can't tell you what happened in there. 
Um, there's just still so much mystery behind it to actually confirm what's going on. But like I said, I do want to throw out some theories because Noct is actually really interesting um, at face value and when you try to dive in depth with him. So if that's the case, that is going to be crazy to, to just like look at. A guy, this will be the first person who would have four different types of magic, not to include his shadow magic, which we're going to get into right now. So, I want to ask, is shadow magic Nox's ability or is it Gimadello's ability? And the reason why I want to ask it is because Jack does say something uh, to the to the effect of, uh, you're that guy from then, but your magic is, and he's like, that guy's, uh, that guy's dead, that, that other dude's dead or whatever. So people have speculated that that's, you know, Nox's twin brother in that flashback that Jack has. Uh, and that could definitely be possible. I think I... Uh, you know what, I made the video and the sound got messed up, but I, I do talk about how the twin theory is probably one of the better running theories out there right now. Uh, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, I don't know. If you guys want it, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but, if it's not Nox Magic, it's definitely Game of Delos, and we do see him gain the, uh, the, the Weg Horns and summon Game of Delo when he traps Asta uh, with his Shadow Magic. So, I do... I am on the side of that being Gimadello's ability and not Nox's ability. Which leaves the question, what is Nox's magic if that is the case? And I'm not saying Nox doesn't have magic. I don't think I would ever say that. But I don't think we have seen his magic or we'll see it for a while. And I don't know why that would be, to be honest with you. Uh, they're... they're if what I'm saying is right, they're holding it for a reason. And I can't wait to see what the reason is if I do turn out right on this. Now, I want to talk about the Grimoire. I want to know why this Grimoire is blank. We've all peeped that. That was like one of the first things as soon as the spoilers dropped for uh, Nox's introduction. And we saw his Grimoire. Everyone was like, oh my god, that thing is blank. Like, is, is he from like the Joker Kingdom? Is he a wild card? Like, what is this? Um, even though the wild card idea sounds really cool... I don't think that's the case at all. Uh, what I do think is the case is that this grimoire could possibly be manufactured and had been passed down to not. I know that sounds wild, but it's not completely off the reservation like I usually am. We've seen the Diamond Kingdom splice together whole grimoires to give mages the ability to use two attributes at the same time. So it's not impossible to manufacture grimoire uh now the reason why i say it was passed down is that we were taken to this basement uh via the shadow magic that Noct used in the house so it looks like that ritual has been going on for quite some time um and i have to imagine that you would probably need shadow magic to enter that space within that house um and and that that's why I say it's passed down. Not many people have shadow magic, and I do think for whatever reason they they pass it down for reasons like that, um, you know, so that not everyone has access to it. If it was easily accessible, uh, whatever story is behind this place uh, could easily get exposed. Uh, in in the video I originally made uh, about not the one that got messed up, I do go into how like. I, I, I'm aware of Devil Bringers in the anime. Uh, if, if you follow me on Twitter, you know I don't really watch the anime. Uh, I haven't since Zagrid was a thing. Um, and that's just my own personal preference. It's not that I dislike it or anything. I just think animes tend to do uh, tend to get information wrong from time to time, which this anime has. Um, and Tabata has said so. Um, not saying they do it consistently or anything like that, but that's why I do stick to manga for the most part. Um, but there are devil bringers and I do like the idea of this because it does present the fact that there is a society that knows more about the underworld and how it works and how the world works really um, to to a better degree than the populace so I, I go into how like I believe Noct is maybe not necessarily a devil bringer I'm not saying that at all because I don't know what they're about who they are really any of that but I am for the idea that there's a society that Noct and his family was a part of that obviously knew about demons and the origin of demons, which is why we see that stone tablet uh, with the Baphomet looking thing in the center and those mages seemingly sacrificing them. Um, 
I might make a separate video just on that tablet because I think it's important. It looks like it is the uh, the creation story between Lilith and uh, well humans. And uh, when I do the triad video, we're gonna get somewhat into it. So um, that's gonna be a three parter. You guys are in for some like wild theories on that one because yeah, damn, it's, it, yeah, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. But um, back to Nox Grimoire. I I do feel like it is manufactured. And I feel like it was manufactured uh, to offer uh, to Gimadella and to use his shadow magic. So I don't think Gimadella is uh, uh, just this cute little creature that is, you know, just benevolent and whatnot. Uh, he's very cute, pocket sized little Pikachu thing, but uh, like he says, this is not his full form. Uh, and if Noct is relatively new uh, with this magic and his grimoire and uh, Gimadello, which it seems he is because uh, his magic has obviously changed since the last time Jack saw him, uh, then his full powers probably have not manifested enough through Noct to be able to come out in a, in a fuller form than he is. So I think that's what's happening. Um, Noct has some really cool stuff going on behind him and his character. Um, really cool but i don't think he is ultimately good i do think he will end up being like like our final anti-hero in this arc he um he i think he has an agenda and i think he has a lot of background uh into not only his family but whatever whatever group they were a part of and i don't know uh this could this could have made him to believe that there's another way uh, for things to go and he probably knows the truth behind uh, like everything almost everything uh, with you know information that he's got within that basement and you know forming these contracts and whatnot they seem like they do know what where demons come from and how they're made and all that great stuff so really interesting really, really, really interesting character i can't wait to dive into him even more these chapters are gonna be fire coming out but i did want to drop this about the the vietnamese zodiac is grimoire and uh Kimodello. so i hope you guys like this let me know if you agree or not in the comment section below follow me on twitter uh that's really all i got i don't want to make this intro any longer but it's been jocko so you either know or you don't